ACNFT Vikings, welcome to another brew where I'll be catching you up on the latest CNFT news and looking at some of the most exciting drops happening over the next seven days. Let's jump right into it. It's been a crazy week in the CNFT space. I minted quite a bit more than I expected to mint, but it's a good thing. I'm very excited. But now looking ahead at what's to come over the next seven days or so, things are only gonna get crazier, I think. So we're seeing a lot of volume, we're seeing a lot of excitement, people are bullish. So before we go ahead and jump into upcoming mints, you know what to do. We've seen a lot of people slap that like button recently. How about we just give it a little flick today, little flick and, um, subscribe also today is saturday the 23rd and we'll start off by checking out blue bots it's one of two projects that is minting today this video is going to come out tonight so these couple of projects that i'm going to be talking about first are currently minting they might be sold out when the video comes out or they might not be but these are projects that I thought were worthy of mentioning. Blue Bots, uh, story rich 3D style NFT project. And it was really just the 3D style that I thought was good enough to pay attention to. I haven't really done a deep dive into them. So do your own research on this one. I just thought they look cool. There are some community members, some Vikings and others that are talking about them. And that's all I really know. So I'm not 100% sure if I'll be minting to be completely transparent with you guys. But I, I thought there were Worth mentioning I do have a whitelist that I might uh, use so here's my whitelist token it's pretty cool actually it gives you a discount and I'm able to mint right now so I might go ahead and do that if you're not on the whitelist the public will start tomorrow Sunday at 4 p.m. UTC and it's gonna be 48 ADA 5555 in this collection it's not a 10k which is a plus in my book next we have earth natives this is a project that I'm a fan of you know that today if you're on the whitelist today you can mint the Mirkata, only 633 Mirkatas, 50 ADA each. If you just buy one, you get a discount. If you buy multiple, I minted six and I think they just landed in my wallet. Let's check that out. Yeah, so these are the Mirkatas. I think they look, you know, both adorable, cool, and badass at the same time. You know, they come with music, like all of their NFTs. If you're not on the whitelist, you'll be able to mint one tomorrow, I believe. Then on Sunday, 3 p.m. UTC, we have Voodoo Brigada. I've talked to them a couple of times on stream, and the last chat we had was specifically about Black Magic. This is the Black Magic collection. I mean, it's just such high quality and in like unique artwork it's worth more praise than it gets you know in the cnft space quality and hype doesn't <laughs> often go hand in hand so i think they're a little bit under the radar they're only a thousand black magic voodoos so if you're on the whitelist you'll be able to mint on sunday 3 p.m utc for 70 ada then we have mipa toys minting on sunday as well 5 p.m utc you might not have heard of mipa toys they're pretty kind of niche i would say but this guy michael michael uh he's an engineer but then he's also a passionate toy designer and i mean he's just so talented he was my pick for the most underrated artist of the week just the quality of his work is crazy to me so only 140 of these this is a collab with uh, this guy right here, Weird Kitties. If you like the look of these, check them out. So that's tomorrow, Sunday at 5 p.m. UTC, Mipa Toys. Now, one of the bigger drops is definitely Derpers, and that's on Tuesday. The last time I checked, right before writing the newsletter, the details were still to be announced. But it is on Tuesday, the Preds are invading and you will be able to mint some, either trade in your OG Derpert or an egg and a Derpling and you'll be able to mint a Pred. Turf is another kind of low key under the radar project that I think is worth a mention because it's just really cool. I mentioned them before. This mint is, this is the public mint. I've mentioned the whitelist mint or their test mint before. So this is at uh, 4 p.m. on Tuesday, 50 ADA. And I think it's pretty much, you know, we've seen these geographical projects before, so there's no real limit. Your goal is to collect a turf, right? Mint your favorite cities, expand your turf. And it's not just, you know, a token. 
I, I really like just the way it looks, you know, the, the style and the, the quality is really good. So I'll probably be minting my city at least. I think they're pretty cool. Now for the big one, overexposed. If you're on the whitelist, congratulations. Uh, you'll be able to mint on Tuesday at 8 p.m. UTC. If you won the raffle and you'll be able to mint public, that's on Wednesday at 8 p.m. UTC. 100 for the whitelist, 150 for public, only 4,000. And just a heads up, hop over to Twitter and retweet uh, my latest tweet and you'll be in the raffle for a free overexposed mint. I don't know why I'm giving it away. I promised it a long time ago. I am kind of regretting it now, but you know, man of my word. So I'll be giving one of these away uh, after the mint. Another big project is doing a drop this week. The Ape Society is starting their Cabins Mint. If you're a holder, if you're a Noble holder, you'll be able to mint on Tuesday, Wednesday if you're a regular holder, Thursday for public, 2 p.m. 150 ADA each. You know, this is obviously a very popular project, so a lot of people excited about this one. The floor price on these is just ridiculous, you know, north of 2,500 ADA. This might get a lot of hype. Now back to some of the more unknown projects. Chains of War is minting on Thursday, if you're on the whitelist, Friday for public, 2 p.m. UTC. I'm not sure how much it is. I think it was to be announced. It's a 10K project. I thought it was good quality. I've talked to the creator a few times. It just looks good. They have a good concept. They're, they're kind of down to earth. They're not promising a metaverse and all this. Uh, it's just a cool project. They're creating a world. It kind of reminds me of Fort Gotten a little bit. Creating a world where you'll be able to role play and do some cool things. Minting on uh, Friday for public, Thursday for whitelist. Then we have Brightleaf Labs. They got a lot of hype early on when they opened Twitter for good reason, right? They look really cool, really high quality stuff in my opinion. And I like their mission of planting trees in the real world. So I also like that they don't have a whitelist. Even if I miss out, by the way, I'm saying it now, even if I don't get to mint any, I like the fact that they don't have a whitelist. 100 ADA if you mint three, 130 if you mint one. Thursday, 5 p.m. UTC, 5,555. So I think everybody should be able to mint one if you get in early, judging by some numbers in the Discord and Twitter. I don't think it's gonna be a 10 second sellout. So I think it's worth a look. Next Next we have Daft Punk Art Club. They were on my radar for a while and I jumped into the Discord a long time ago as an art project, right? Traditional kind of more like towards the fine art category on Cardano. So it didn't have a lot of hype, but well respected and still well respected in, in that part of uh, the CNFT space. And now they're expanding into the generative world, if you will. They're releasing Cyclombies. Cyclombies. I don't know how to pronounce it. And that's 4,444. It's still in their hand drawn style. Uh, kind of unique looking, right? Saturday at 9 p.m. UTC, 44 ADA if you're minting public 38 for whitelist that's it for what's minting over the next seven days what are you most excited about let me know in the comments i am definitely extremely excited about overexposed again check out my giveaway on twitter dirt birds i mean there's just so many good projects dropping recently right and over the next seven days it's crazy take care of your ada guys I'm struggling. Next, let's check out my CNFT radar new projects in bold, starting with Inside Out, a project by Crypto Jess, great community member, a Viking, uh, and just a great artist. She's also the creator of Mad Cows Club. That never got enough steam to sell out and be, you know, that big success. So I think she's trying something different. And I think she's heading in the right direction with this one. I really like the the raw kind of, yeah, just, just more artistic style that she's going with uh, and even has some animation, which is cool. So check out Inside Out. Then we have a couple of uh, art projects starting with, help me out guys, Oto Dojo, Oto Dojo nodes. I just think they look really interesting and the artwork looks high quality and good. So that's what I'm here for. And that's why I'm gonna be keeping an eye on this project moving forward. Like, look at these. I just think they look so cool. Finally, we have Fractal Oasis, another project that's early on. I don't think they've even opened up their Discord. Shout out to Will 
for pointing this one out uh, in the Viking squad. If you're not in the Viking squad server, you're missing out on, on a lot of good info. So hop in there, guys. So it looks like generative art, right? But I believe it is not generative art, non auto generated art on the Cardano blockchain. That caught my attention. Like it's not a PFP project, right? Or is it? because you can definitely see some faces in here. So I'm definitely intrigued and I wanna see you know, how this project evolves. So these are the three new additions to my CNFT radar. What's on your radar that's not minting or I haven't mentioned so far? Let me know in the comments. Now, before I jump into the CNFT news, why not share this video on Twitter? You know, I get very awkward when I need to shill myself. So I'm not gonna share my own stuff on Twitter, but if you do, I'll give you a, a sneaky retweet and my eternal love, how about that? Now to the highlights of the past seven days. There's a lot going on in the CNFT space. If you hadn't noticed, the bull market is back on. There's a lot of optimism in the space and volume is picking up. We're seeing, you know, multiple days in a row above 2 million, approaching 3 million ADA on the 24 hour, over 15 million on the seven day. Very impressive, very exciting. How long will it last? We'll have to see. I don't think it's going to last forever, but you guys know my opinion in the long run macro view, we're moving up and to the right, especially in the CNFT space. Now let's talk about some of the most exciting mints that happened recently. Havoc Worlds had uh, an attack on their site, but we're still able to mint everything pretty successfully. I like the artwork. Yummy Universe had their spring Narus. Unwanted ones, they sold out despite being a little bit underhyped. False Idols, they sold out in seconds. Um, at Phoenix Arena and did their 48 hour mint. They sold 4,415 NFTs. That's pretty impressive. And staking is already live for, for the divers. Mad Dog Car Club, they were able to solve their uh, drop issues, their minting issues, thanks to the Jungle team. And uh, speaking of, I just partnered uh, up with jungle they were already my favorite cnft tool uh, i think you should check them out i think they're very much under the radar you guys know that i don't shill anything i don't 100 percent believe in and already would promote for free so cnft jungle Dot io bookmark that site so thanks to those guys they stepped in and just helped them out they did pretty well on the secondary market they were number two on the seven day in terms of volume only second to dead rabbit resurrection society and this was probably my biggest surprise of the week they sold out super fast i was like four minutes late for the public mint because you know and missed out on the public mint and they sold out instantly and they are leading the pack with trading volume with 1.8 million ADA trade. Congrats to all those teams. It was an exciting week, but the next week, like we just talked about, is also going to be probably equally exciting. Then we have Lending Pond. They launched this week and partnered with Sunday Swap along with some other big CNFT projects in the space. I think it's an interesting solution. These are the guys behind the acronym DAO project. Uh, great guys, young guys, I think, you know, high school guys, but super talented. And they are not playing video games in their spare time. They are writing code. I have already tried their system. You know, you have to be a holder of certain projects, you know, projects that they have partnered up with. So you can read more about it on their page, which is Lending Pond. Dot app. You can both borrow or lend ADA using NFTs as collateral. Next, we have Pavia giving a pretty cool update uh, yesterday on Friday. So they were saying that the airdrops are coming early to mid May, uh, wearables coming in late May, tokenomics update in early May. So check out this tweet, check out their uh, Twitter, their latest tweet, and you can read more about those updates. Then we had a couple of massive sales. Dead Pixels had a 75,000 ADA sale for a wolf. And then Chilled Kongs had an even bigger sale, 135K ADA for this <laughs> Kong right here. Just mind boggling, mind boggling numbers. Even Charles didn't know what to think about this and tweeted about it which was kind of cool to see. I feel like Charles is getting more and more into CNFTs, uh, even though he's he's showing his confusion, expressing his confusion here. I think he's getting more into the space, which is really cool to see. Growing Pains rebranded into just Pains, Pains NFTs. I think that was a very successful rebrand. 
it looks great. They had a, an updated website with more information, updated roadmap. It's a project that I've always been a fan of. I have, I think, 13 or 14 of them right now and won't be selling anytime soon. Introverse also released their updated website. Really well done, in my opinion. And they also released a lot of info on there, on their roadmap and the mint date, which is probably the biggest one, which is gonna be May 13th. So keep an eye out for Introverse on May 13th. They're on my CNFT radar for a reason. This caught me off guard, Snoop Dogg posting or reposting Ada Ninjas. This kind of tribute manga piece it's really cool that he actually posted. I think the secondary markets got a pretty big boost for the ninjas. I actually picked up a couple after seeing this. Awesome to see Snoop Dogg showing more love to CNFT creators. Speaking of Snoop Dogg, we know he loves Clay Nation and so do 50,000 other people. They just reached 50K on Twitter. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's the second largest Twitter following for a CNFT project, only behind Pavia. JPEG Store, I mean, they continue to crush it. They celebrated 420 by reaching this milestone of 4.2 million ADA in royalties paid. This is really cool. This is why I think royalties are so important. Uh, it, and it's it's such an opportunity for artists to have that consistent source of revenue. And then they also implemented price history. So you can check on JPEG store right now, you can see the price history of all NFTs. And CNFT.io, they're still trying to stay relevant and they showed some signs of life with this announcement. We don't know exactly what it is. Let me check if, if they've updated anything in the last few hours. Let me check if there's anything new, but they definitely teased us with this. Nope, just this for now. But then they also said that creators, you can submit this form and you'll be able to have a project page. You know, that's pretty cool. But with such a small market share right now, what is it down to? It's definitely less than 5%, maybe less than 3%. You know, they're going to have to do some significant changes to catch up with JPEG store over the next few months. And as we already talked about, Derpers announced their presence invasion which caused a lot of excitement and even derp apes got a little boost on the secondary market following the announcement now ada swap is a cardano dex and they were launching their own nft project and they royally screwed it up there's no other way to put it they kind of blamed it on the cardano blockchain and the community was not so happy with that they issued an apology and i guess are trying to you know get back into the good graces of the, the CNFT community. Now Coinbase, they announced the beta release of their NFT marketplace. This is a huge step for NFTs in general. Obviously Cardano NFTs are not on there yet, hopefully sometime in the future, but it's a great step towards mass adoption of NFTs. Now just a quick update on what I've been doing Again, I'm trying to save my ADA, but I minted five false idols. If you minted false idols, let me know what you think about the project and if you got any luck in terms of rarity. I don't even know anything about rarity yet, to be honest. I also minted a, a couple or three, in fact, uh, RMR sound waves from ADA Ninjas. I think they are gonna give you an airdrop for the season three. I thought they were good value. Check that out if you're interested. Then I minted a couple of Spring Narus, sold one to kind of get my ADA back and held on to this B right here that I really like. We already talked about the Earth Natives Mint that is happening right now. Minted a few of those, minted a Gizmo, minted six Lucky Lions, sold al almost all of them. I think I'm over 1K ADA in profit on that project. Just bought, it's okay. I flip NFTs too sometimes, guys. I am not a huge fan of Lucky Lions. I'm not a huge fan of, and now I'm just talking about the artwork. You know, I'm not a fan of projects that are just just tapping into, you know, what works on Ethereum and bringing it over to Cardano. I like to see more innovation, right? So I am not collecting those, but I flip some of these projects. I even bought a Mad Dog Car Club to flip. So already made over 1K ADA on this. And uh, yeah, so no shame in that, right? Now as a fan, I also minted a couple of rabbits uh, and I sold them actually. And then I bought a couple that I like more on the secondary market. One is for sale. So we don't see it here for 1K ADA, probably not gonna sell. So I have a couple happy with those. So yeah, I've been minting you know, a few projects here and there, some to flip, but most to hold and just collect. 
But you can see I've also been selling a lot. You know, I continue to take some profits. Here, a snow punk sold, like I told you, I sold a yummy. I sold this one that I minted it and, um, and bought another one, an ear tag on the secondary market. So yeah, I, I'm continuing to take profits and I'm trying to be careful because there are a lot of exciting projects coming up this week or over the next seven days. That's it for this week's CNFT brew. Thanks again to the video sponsor, CNFT Predator slash CNFT Jungle, same company. Awesome CNFT sniping extension on Chrome. The best CNFT uh, analytics and rarity website in my personal opinion. I know we we can have a discussion on rarity and how that should work on Cardano, but I can have my personal opinion and I had it before this partnership and I will have it after. Check out cnftjungle.com. Love that site. Use it daily. And if you haven't hit that like button by now, I am sorely disappointed, but you can redeem yourself by hitting it right now. See you in the next one.